welcome back. As many of you know, a couple months ago, I ended up burning up one of the ESCs I got off of Amazon. And what I did was, is I moved the ESC from my Stampede Gravedigger here over to Kelby's RC truck, and I went and I bought me a Castle Sidewinder 4. Well, I've had really good luck with this ESC, and I love the way it runs. I'm going to have to get the cord and actually change around some of the features on it, and that's one reason why I really like it, because you can get the cord, hook it up to your computer, and you can change the settings in it. Right now, I just have it on all the default settings, and I really like it there. So what I did was, is I went out and I actually bought a combo this time. Get the light not to shine on it here. But the combo comes with the Sidewinder 4 ESC. And then it also comes, the one I got was with a 4600 kV censored brushless motor. Now what I'm going to do is, is the reason why I bought the kit this time around, is I'm going to put the motor in my Stampede and I'm going to take this uh, RC running one out. There's nothing wrong with this motor. I just want a little more power because Kelby keeps making fun of me because he's got a 3900 kV in his truck and he always beats me. So I wanted to make my whole drivetrain castle on this. So I'm going to use the motor out of this and I'm going to put it in this stampede. And then I'm going to keep the ESC for a backup in case something happens to the uh, Amazon one that's in Kelby's. Then I'll throw that in his. So I'm just going to do a quick little unboxing here. I know you guys probably have seen them before, but just in case you haven't. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open both of these up and show you what's in it. I already took the plastic off just to make it easier for the video. But the first thing I want to get out here is the motor. Because I already know what the ESC is and I'll show you that second. But we'll go ahead and we're going to open this up. And then we go ahead. It looks like we got some padding there with some paperwork. And it's just telling you a quick setup operation on it. That's pretty cool. Go ahead and move that out of the way. Go ahead and here's the part I'm really interested in. Got our motor here. Censored brushless four pole. Made in China. That's the only bad thing, but Castle makes great pot products, so I'm not really worried about that. I think what I'm gonna do, since I don't need the sensor part, I'm gonna fill this up with uh, dielectric grease probably. And then put a piece of tape over it because I do run in snow and water a lot. And then there's just some more information on it. I can't wait to get this in and see how it runs. Then go ahead and open it up. There's your sensor wire. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull that out. And then you got another little connector piece in right here. And looks like that's everything that's in the motor. So let's go ahead, open up this package. Now the ESC, I did not do a box opening or anything on it. I wanted to get playing with my truck, so I just hurried up and I threw a connector on and got it all hooked up so I could play with it. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like here. Go ahead and get it opened up. Now with this one, you get a little bit more. This is telling you, thank you for purchasing and protect your investment. Then, stickers that came out of that. And then you got your quick start guide, and that'll tell you everything you need to know on it. How to get it up and going. And then I'll go ahead and take the film out. And there's the ESC. Now the one thing Castle does is, they don't give you a battery connector but they do leave the wires pre tinned so you can put whatever connector you want on there. And like I said, I've had this one, I've been running it down my Stampede and I've had great luck with it. So pretty much that's everything that comes in the combo kit. I just wanted to do a little unboxing for you. Like I said, I'm gonna put that motor in my Stampede and I'm gonna keep this for a backup or maybe you never know, I might get another RC car that I might wanna put in it. I'm just gonna add this into the video. What I'm gonna do is, is this is the RC running 3500 kV motor that I got installed. I'm going to show you what it looks like right now and then I'm going to take this out and we'll look at it side by side with the castle motor and then I'll put the castle motor in and we'll take a final look at it. Now I just want to show you a quick comparison. This is the RC running 3500 kV motor and it's waterproof. Like I said, I haven't had no problems. You can see I got a dent right there. It's got a little beat up. 
I really haven't had no problems with this motor. There's just two reasons why I wanted to go with the castle. For one, I want to be Kelby. <laughs> and the other one is it'll, it's green. So it'll match my truck a little bit better. So that's the other cool thing about it. But you can definitely tell. Castle looks a little bit bigger. Now, I couldn't find nothing about waterproofing on the motor. I think as long as I put some dielectric grease in there and I put some tape over it, I think the motor will probably, probably be pretty much waterproof and should be good. This one, I've actually had uh, part of it in my pond. The motor completely submerged trying to clean it off one day to get some mud off of it. But I just wanted to show you guys real quick both of these motors. So now I'm going to get this pinion off, move it over to this one, put some Loctite on the set screw on that so I don't have to worry about my pinion coming off and get everything in and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Also just a quick note, I thought this was a connector when I first looked at it. This is actually mounting screws for the motor that was in the box with the motor. Now I got the motor installed. We're going to go ahead and turn it on here real quick. All right, and we're going to test function. I'm going to hold it here real quick. I know one of my tires I got to re-glue, so that's why I'm doing this. Okay, that was forward. And backwards. So, I got the motor working. That's great. Can't wait to get this out and run it. Now, the one thing I'm going to ask you guys is, I know the ESC is waterproof. I can't find anything that says the motor's waterproof. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you know it's waterproof or not. What I was going to do is I was just going to stick some dielectric grease in the sensor port since I don't need it and then put a piece of tape over it's what I was going to do. Well, I've been very happy with the way this went and I'm going to move this down real quick. Now that green motor looks a lot better with the rest of my Gravedigger Stampede. Well, that's all I got for today. I'll leave links down below for you guys to check this stuff out on Amazon like I always do. In case you ain't got a hobby store by you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all on the next one.